Hey there, welcome back. So, with the introduction of GPTs and OpenAI releasing a bunch of them, people have been getting pretty creative with what they can do. Today, I'm going to show you some of the coolest custom GPTs people have made recently. But before we dive into the awesomeness, let's talk about something crucial you need to know if you're thinking about creating your own GPT. I stumbled upon something interesting recently. There's this GPT, a logo maker, claiming to create highly professional PNG logos for your business. Sounds great, right? Well, not so fast. The issue here is security. If you can simply ask it for its system instructions and get a detailed breakdown, that's not ideal. Anyone can copy and clone your GPT. Now, if you're thinking about creating your GPT to make some money, you need to protect it. I came across this tweet with some solid advice. Rule number one, never write the exact instructions for the user. Keep it vague, and if someone asks for specifics, just apologize and offer the readme separately. It adds a layer of protection to your creation. You'll find the exact text in the description, so grab that if you're planning to dive into GPT creation. And here's an Another heads up, when building your GPTs, be careful about prompt injection. It can lead to the leakage of your entire knowledge base. OpenAI mentions this, so be mindful not to include personal information or anything you wouldn't want floating around the internet. Simpsonize GPT. Now let's get to the fun part, the cool GPTs people have made. First up, we've got Simpsonize GPT. Just upload your profile photo and voila, it turns you into a Simpsons character. It's surprisingly accurate, and it's a fun little thing you can try out. The link is in the description if you want to give it a go. The ability to transform your photo into a Simpson character might seem like a playful gimmick, but it showcases the versatility of GPTs in image interpretation and generation. Imagine the potential applications in art, entertainment, or even personalized avatars for online platforms. It's not just a fun tool, it's a testament to the creative possibilities embedded in these models. Baby AGI TIST. Next on the list is Baby AI TIST by Nicholas Stos. It's a step-by-step -step task manager that automatically saves tasks to a TSD file. Let's hear from Nicholas himself in this clip. Hey everyone, I just got back from OpenAI Demo Day and I've been playing around with the new uh, MyGPTs feature that they just launched. Um, I got early access, so I've been having a lot of fun playing around with it. Um, I just wanted to show you some things you could do with it. You know, so I have a few here. Um, yeah, I just want to show you how it works. So this first one is called Baby AGI TXT and this is basically it. Um, you know, you can start. You can have these like options to like give some people like pre-filled things. Of course, I could just like type in here, but I'm just going to show you if I press this. Um, this one will actually like take what we're talking about and like save it to a text file and keep a list of all of our tasks that we're working on, and will also like help me plan my day. So you see, here we go. Boom! And here's this whole thing that I have. So. Um, yeah, like, like, what do I want to plan my day? I want to finish this demo video and pack for my flight tomorrow. You see here, I actually have like hotkeys defined as well. Um, and you know, Shira was like asking me it's multiple choices um, because this is kind of what I told it to was break down tasks and help me plan. So here we go, doing it again. And so there we go. Once again, we get some more hotkeys, we get some more multiple choices. Um, and you can also check, right, if I look, I can actually download the to-do list, right, and then I just have a little text file here. Boom, here it is. Oh, here's all the things we're supposed to do to plan. There we go. That's it. And of course, right, because of the text file, I could like come in and like start a new chat and just drop it right back in. So here, let's just try that. I can just go, got this out of the way. I can just, whoop. And I don't even have to type anything. I can just. Oh, so there we go. It even reprioritized it. There we go. Top task: prepare for the flight. There we go. And you know, of course, it helps me break it down. And then yep, we can just go. Uh, let's let's say I did it. Yep, confirmed. Done. That's how it happened. There we go. And there we go. On to the next task. Pulling out the demo video. Nicholas Stos ingeniously demonstrates how GPTs can serve as task managers. The idea of a step-by-step -step manager that not only assists in planning, 
but also adapts to user preferences through hotkeys, is innovative. This opens up avenues for personal productivity tools, making daily tasks more streamlined and tailored to individual needs. Now here's one that didn't get much coverage but I find it super useful. It's called Plain GPT. It translates corporate jargon into plain English. Imagine having a GPT that simplifies complex language from your boss or co-workers. That's what plain GPT does. It's a niche, but that's the beauty of it. Tailor your GPT to serve a specific purpose like this, and you might be onto something great. Plain GPT tackles a real-world communication challenge decoding corporate jargon. The ability to translate complex language into plain English can have significant implications for workplace communication. Consider a world where employees can effortlessly comprehend intricate instructions or decipher convoluted emails. It's not just about convenience. It's about fostering clarity and efficiency in professional settings. Another interesting creation is GIF GPT. It makes a GIF using Dolly 3 to create a sprite sheet and then animates it into an MP4 file. Nicholas Stowe strikes again. While the example GIF might not be mind-blowing, it hints at the creative potential, showcasing the integration of Dolly 3 for creating animated content. While the example might be a bit basic, it lays the foundation for the potential evolution of GPTs into sophisticated content creation tools. Imagine generating complex animations, video edits, or even interactive presentations through a GPT. GPT. The possibilities are vast, hinting at a future where content creation becomes more accessible to a broader audience. Imagine what could be achieved once the tools get even better. Blog Expert GPT is a valuable tool for those who need specific writing styles. If you're into SEO or need a particular writing style for a certain niche, this could be your go-to. Again, the key here is to cater to specific needs within a community. Blog Expert GPT ventures into the realm of specialized writing styles, SEO-friendly content, industry-specific language, or tailored blog posts. Posts. The application extends beyond mere convenience. It addresses the need for precision in content creation, catering to diverse professional requirements. In a world dominated by digital content, having a GPT that understands and produces content according to specific guidelines can revolutionize content marketing strategies. Now here's one that takes advantage of GPT's internet access feature. It's called Trends GPT. Ask it about the latest trends, and it fetches the most up-to-date information from the web. It's a smart move, especially if you're in a fast-moving industry. Just remember to take that box for internet access. The introduction of Trends GPT underlines the potential of GPTs with internet access. In an era where information is dynamic and ever-changing, having a tool that fetches real-time data on trends can be invaluable. From market analysis to staying updated on the latest developments, GPTs with internet access can bridge the gap between static knowledge and the fluidity of the online world. Now brace yourself for something mind-bending. Console GPT. It's a universal game console on GPT. You generate a game card cartridge, and then you play the game through GPT. It might look a bit retro, but think about the possibilities. Procedurally generated games mean a unique experience every time. That's something even A-delay titles can't promise. Console GPT takes a leap into the gaming realm, showcasing the concept of playing procedurally generated games within GPT. While the demonstration might seem rudimentary, it sparks thoughts about the democratization of game development. Imagine a future where users can create and play unique games tailored to their preferences, challenging the traditional gaming landscape dominated by established studios. OpenAI's got one too, The Negotiator. It claims to help you advocate for yourself and get better outcomes. It's a bit broad though. Imagine creating a negotiator for freelancers or specific industries. Fine-tune the model, add relevant data, and you've got a powerful tool for a niche market. The Negotiator by OpenAI introduces the idea of using GPTs for negotiation skills. However, the broad scope of negotiation could be refined further. Imagine Freelancer Negotiator GPT, a tool designed explicitly for freelancers navigating the intricacies of project bids, contracts, and rates. Specialization enhances the utility of GPTs, ensuring they become indispensable assets in specific domains. Here's one that hopped on a recent trend, AR Pixel Poster GPT. Remember those AI Pixar-style image posters? This GPT lets you jump on the trend, creating your own engaging content. It's a smart move, especially if you spot a trend early and capitalize on it. AR Pixel Poster GPT taps into the power of trends. So there you have it, a glimpse into the creative world of custom GPTs. Remember, the key is to think nichely, protect your creation, and and always be on the lookout for trends. Who knows, your custom GPT might be the next big thing. This promises a great future for AI innovations in the months to come. Stay informed by subscribing to our channel for the latest updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.